Hello, people of the internet. Is I Tofu Ace here to play some Corporal Space Program? So why don't we get started? We can see the Mun peering out from behind Kerbin. I say I saw him. Apparently, you really do need the whole amount of thrust. Okay. Looks a little slow, but it's gonna be fine, I think. I think it's gonna be fine. Took it a little bit because I don't want to drop all the tanks directly on KSC. Okay, there we go. Keep that attitude. Make sure all of our instrumentation is out. to pass the thickest part of the atmosphere at least so I don't want to push over too much but just give it a little bit I probably should have been going straight up to begin with and not have any sort of angled or angle away from it but oh well might as well do a little turn here I'm going the wrong way I want to turn the other way Everything is looking good. Fuel is doing fine. Our attitude is excellent. Did I just hit the gear? Oh, but it didn't do anything. Okay. <laughs> I have my keyboard lights, the back lights off since they're blue and it's late at night. Not late at night, it's like 10, 11, 20 right now, p.m. So I don't want to have all that blue light ruining my sleep patterns. <laughs> so I just have the uh, WASD, W-A-S-D keys lit up and nothing else on my mechanical keyboard. Start pushing over now. For our gravity turn since we are at 21 kilometers above the surface do you like that angle right let's see how we're gonna be doing here oh yeah looking good looking good yeah the best way to speed this up for me would be to replace those wildcats with the Maverick engines. There's our last booster. Are we losing speed? I don't think so. I think we're good, yeah. They're very good. Are we past our apoapsis? No. We're keeping it at 30-ish seconds away. So this stage is, I mean, this uh, rocket is successful, or at least it looks like the design is going to be successful. I'm not worried about any of these. It's a little slow to get into orbit, but other than that, it's fine. Especially now since we're really getting, accelerating, and picking up all that speed. If I was doing this like an intelligent person, I would keep it around uh, T minus tw uh, 30 seconds to apoapsis. 
using the angle on our nav ball there, but eh, it's so close to uh, 70,000 meters, 70 kilometers above, which is the edge of space, or the edge of the atmosphere, rather. So let's keep it like this. We still have 23 seconds. It's not really 23 seconds because it's, it's obviously taking longer than that. That'd probably be easier to see, isn't it? So yeah. We could really start cranking over now. Just in our angle so that more uh, horizontal, aligned with the horizon, which we can really put our thrust vector towards getting as much speed as quickly as possible. And it'll be especially it'll be easier for us to do that, especially once we lose this stage here. See, look, it's gonna just zoom. Maybe it will change those boosters. Because <laughs> it is taking me a little bit to get into orbit. With my experience with space planes, this would get around uh, 2,000 meters per second. It could be horizontal and still be gaining altitude for our epoapsis. See? And as we are pointing to the horizon, completely horizontal, um, our time to apoapsis won't be decreasing, it'll still be increasing. See how it is? So yeah. I can't remember exactly what the or orbital speed is to be uh, in orbit at 70k. We will learn that, won't we? <laughs> we'll stop it there. We might have to do a little bit of a burn again. Uh, and make sure it doesn't drop too much. If you see it's dropping, and that's because... Let me change the views here. You'll see why. See, at the top, um, it says uh, atmosphere, right? Here, we're not exactly out of the atmosphere yet, so there's little particles of atmosphere that's slightly slowing us down, which adjusts our altitude, right? But no, we're fine. We're in orbit. I mean, look, we're already at 40k about for our periapsis, so yeah, I'm not worried at all. It's just that this design takes uh, a bit of time to get to orbit. But look at all the fuel that we have now. Um, that's why. And of course, as I said before, changing the booster, the, the boosters that we have on our first stage from the Wildcat engine. This is the Vista, if I remember correctly. Yeah. This is our second stage, or technically our third, I guess. Unless you want to cap the first stage with boosters and not different stages, which I guess probably smart people would do. <laughs> so yeah, we have the boosters, and then the first stage, which is in the center, and then the second stage here. And then our third stage is the same engine for, that we use as our lander, with drop tanks to return us back to Kerbin, hopefully, if we do everything properly. Now it's far enough that I can do our correction burn to make sure we are in orbit at orbital speeds. And that looks good for me.
noted in 17. Oh no, we're actually past it. So we can start burning. There we go, we are in orbit. If I did everything correctly. From IVA view. The cockpit view. Yeah, we are. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. And the rocket doesn't look as phallic <laughs> as the previous design with the smaller drop tanks. <laughs> uh, that was funny. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some beauty shots here. Maybe one with the opening panels. Dark Star Part Do. Thank you.